Entre Rios Province, Argentina, on a perfect morning for hunting. I think we got the right day for this one. I think we got the right day. The weather's on our side. Bill Urseth and Miguel Mendez ride into some of the world's richest cattle country, all kinds of cattle, including the biggest Asian water buffalo any hunter has ever seen. Smart and dangerous, big as a pickup truck and as mean as a snake. The hunters have one thing going in their favor. The buffalo are used to seeing Argentine cowboys or gauchos on horseback, so they are not that skittish around horses. The horses also mask the scent of man. This means Bill and Miguel can cover a lot of territory looking for the herd that they say has the world's number one Asian uh -huh. buffalo. On foot, no longer camouflaged by their horses, Bill and Miguel use the natural cover to approach the herd. It looks like there's some big boys there, but is it the one? Oh, oh look at that, Bill. Could be approximately, maybe a number five, number six in the world. That one way on the right. Yes. Oh boy. That is big. God. You still think number one is around? Yes. You do? Yes. I might be crazy, Miguel, but I'm going to pass this one and let's keep looking for number one. OK, that's fine with me. Oh, look at this fella. He looks angry. Yeah, he does look angry, actually. OK. Shoot. All right, give me a size quick, because I, I got about one second here. What do you think? You have that 70 yards. Yeah. But is he the one? Not it's not the number one. Eh? It's not number one. It's gold medal, though, isn't it? It's a gold medal. No, we said we're going to do number one, and we're going to do number one. There's a good lesson here. If you have a goal for the hunt, stay with it. In the heat of the moment, Many hunters start thinking about how a lesser animal will taste in the pot or look on the wall. But if you get greedy, you just may be passing up a shot for the one. Pay dirt, a herd about 800 yards out. Better yet, they're all big. While they're obscured from view, Bill and Miguel hot-footed to close the distance. Unseen and out of the wind, they want to take their chance while it's there. You said Muddy facing us or right see behind? Him. Right behind you. You see him. You see him. He's there. Oh, brother. Right side. Very close. He's facing to the other side. There's three or four of them that are so close together. Now he's moving left. So we continue the stock, and we try for maybe 100 yards, see if we can get it. Hopefully. You think there's a chance we can use this little low ground here and get ourselves another 40 yards? It is possible. Okay. Let's go to the tree. That'd be great. Let's go to this tree. Let's try it, see if they move. OK. okay. Seeing us, and we're not seeing them. Oh, let's 
see if things change. This will be the distance, Bill. This will be it. This is the distance. It will not be closer than this. Couldn't ask for more than this. <laughs> this is for number one in the world. Let's give it a try. See it? Now he's gone again. Standing clean right there. Yep. Smooth the head, facing you. Exactly facing you. That's perfect. Okay. This is this game's over right now. Stampede? Oh, yeah, yeah. All this. All that. Oh, no. Oh. Well, Miguel, <laughs> I think we just left that one for somebody else. I think I left that one for you. <laughs> The quest for the one goes on. Somewhere on the grasslands of the wild pampas, the one is still out there. And every day, he's getting bigger. Well, as you can tell, hunting Asian water buffalo doesn't always go perfect. As I had my sights on the largest water buffalo probably in the world, they stampeded and that show was over. But. There's always next year, and that's the way it is for a lot of great hunting experiences. Not everything goes perfect. But we do believe that we at Horse and Hunt Adventures offer some outstanding destinations where you have the highest probability of things going exactly right. Miguel Medez, our partner down in Argentina, has some fabulous estancias. Absolutely great access to game over 3 million acres for bird hunting and for fabulous big game. Hope you join us. I'm Bill Ursa from Horse and Hunt Adventures, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Oh yeah, I know, maybe you're the kind of hunter where everything goes perfect every time, but I guess I'm not. Things just do go wrong sometimes, but it sure is fun to do it. When it comes to hunting, you got to love the process and all the things that go along with it. Join us sometime. We'll show you a spectacular trip, one that you be remember for years and you'll be happy with for a lifetime. Give us a call. We'd love to talk with you, or you can go to horseandhunt.com. That's www.horseandhunt.com. Well, join us at Horse and Hunt Adventures, where the adventures never end.